there. Good evening. Uh, B here. A B Sports Report. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and break down a couple games this week. I ain't, I ain't going to review last week's game. We'll kind of talk about some of that stuff as we go. Uh, unless you're Clemson. And, you know, you <laughs> Syracuse. Come on, man. Everybody the whole world was, you know, high on y'all. At least y'all can get, you know, got to buy. We can get healthy this week and get your quarterback back. Uh, <laughs> that Pac-12 just proved how bad they were last week. Uh, really watching Arizona State. Hey, Washington State, we ain't going to forget about you either. Over there losing the cow. What was it, 37-3? Uh, look at the... How terrible are y'all? Uh, then you got Auburn. Oh, LSU's about bound to shut me up this year. Uh, so I make a fun of them. Picked against them. Come out, they beat Florida. Uh, then they come out and beat Auburn. I said that game wasn't even going to be close. Uh, and then you got Louisville. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, little, oh, man. I don't even remember who y'all played this week. Does it really matter? No. <laughs> Boston College. Oh, really? ACC takeover? Playoffs. Uh, well, no, I, I, I don't think so this year. University six fired old Patino yesterday. Uh, Church is tomorrow. Say goodbye. Y'all gonna just be irrelevant in L in all sports. All sports. Uh, well, we got to always look forward to baseball. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, let's get started here. I'm going to break down. Uh, we're going to break down Oklahoma State, Texas this week. Break down Indiana, Michigan State. Syracuse and Miami. Michigan at Penn State. USC at Notre Dame. Then we're going to go with the SEC right behind it. Uh, you got Idaho, Mizzou, yeah, Tennessee, Alabama. <laughs> oh man, Whew, get me started there. Uh, LSU at Ole Miss and Auburn at Arkansas. So let me tell you, we got full slate here. Uh, man, where do we start at? Oklahoma State, Texas here. Uh, Texas played Oklahoma pretty tough last week, but eh, that's a rivalry game. Big 12, you know, ain't shit. Uh, let's see. Let's take Oklahoma State by 14 here. 28-14. Uh... Big 12, all you guys' offense out there. TCU's got the best defense. Uh, TCU's playing somewhere like Kansas or something this year, this week. Uh, they're like 48-point favorites. Uh, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, you got Indiana, Michigan State. I actually picked you Hoosiers last week to knock off Michigan. That didn't happen. Uh, close. Took it to overtime. Uh, I don't see y'all going to Lansing and winning this game either. Uh, Michigan State wins this one. 17-10. Uh, it's going to be close. Uh, and here's your Miss Cinderella from last week. Old Syracuse at Miami. Well, Miami got a nice little uh, 
but but, but whooping last weekend too. The hands of Georgia Tech got a triple off uh, opposite offense there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but uh, I don't see Syracuse pulling it off two weeks in a row, two upsets in a row. Uh, I'm sure old Uncle Lou has something to say about Mark Rick and uh, how bad of a coach he is. Uh, so uh, let's go 24-21 Syracuse over Miami this week. Yeah. Syracuse over Miami this week. Syracuse is going to do it two weeks in a row. Uh, then you got uh, Michigan Penn State. One of the big matchups this weekend. Uh, I think Penn State's like a 14 point favorite or something. Pretty big favorites. I don't know if I put it down. Yeah, nine and a half point favorites. Uh, but uh, Penn State rose. 42-21. Uh, Barkley, probably the best lead Heisman candidate for sure. Uh, I don't think he's even close, that close, as they're you know, trying to lead it on to be. Uh, but uh, going on down to the next one, USC at Notre Dame. Notre Dame's worst loss up to this point. Is a one point loss to Georgia, their only loss. Uh, well, Georgia didn't look all that great last week. Uh, only beat Mississippi, uh, Missouri by 25 points. Uh, come on, Uncle Luke. I thought them dogs were a little better than that. Uh, but uh, give me the Trojans. I want the Trojans. Notre Dame loses again at home this time. Uh, well, they lost to Georgia at home, too. They got two home losses. Don't ever happen. I'm taking USC. Uh, and I hate the Pac-12, but I think USC's got something to prove. Uh, that brings me, that takes me into my SEC games this week. Uh, you got Idaho and Missouri. Uh, Mizzou rose this one. I, I wasn't even going to put this one in there, but I talk SEC. Uh, but uh, I forgot one game. Uh, that's the Louisville, Florida State. Uh, neither one of them is real good. But uh, Uncle Lou loves the rag on no Florida State there. They got, what, two wins this year? Uh, after losing their quarterback, I think it could take a toll on a team. Uh, well, Lamar there. You know, it was just a one-man team. Uh, I think Florida State's defense could do something this week. I'm taking Florida State. To bring Florida State. The Cardinals. <laughs> uh, University 6, man. Y'all just a shambles. Done lost two weeks in a row. Uh, squirting to the ceiling. I wonder how many of y'all... Threatening phone calls y'all made to Karen Cypher to make her cancel her radio show today. The radio interview with Matt Jones today. Uh, well she she was scheduled to go on. All of a sudden now she didn't doesn't want to go on. See, uh, Florida State. Mm, that's gonna be a good game. Uh, it's gonna be close. It'll be fun to watch uh, if you like close games. Two. Terrible teams. Uh, only reason I'm breaking down Louisville is because they're my rival, and I hate them. And I live in the city of Louisville. Uh, Twenty-four, seventeen, Florida State, Seminoles row. Uh, that brings me down. I already gave you the Idaho Mizzou game. Mizzou should win that one handily. They get they didn't beat they didn't beat Missouri State by that much either. A shootout. That right, brings me to Tennessee Bama. You old Vols. Ah, you Vols. 
Uh, I, I, you mean to tell me Buzz Jones is still there? You guys are just irrelevant this year. I guess it's going to take losing to a team like Kentucky to have old Buzz Jones pack his bags and get the fuck out of town. Uh, y'all ain't gone. I ain't coming to Kroger Field and busting us. Y'all might as well just get ready for this ass movement. That y'all about ready to get this week, man. You might as well just be ready for it. Well, we got y'all next week, too. So that's two weeks in a row. Uh, lose to Alabama this week and Kentucky next week. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. Oh, gutter ball voles. Ain't nothing more than I hate old freaking Rocky Top. Yeah, it makes me puke. Okay, you ever, you ever watched Major League, the baseball movie? You know, Rick Vaughn comes out and they sing that old wild thing. And that one woman gets on and says, oh, you make me puke or something like that. Yeah. I went, Vaughn was having a bad year. That's what it was. That one guy's out there in the outfield. Start singing wild thing and, then, you know, yeah. You uh, break my heart thing or something, and but well, yeah, puke. I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, I live in Louisville. There's only two things I hate more in this world: is Louisville and Tennessee. Uh, followed by that, and Duke basketball. I can't stand Duke basketball. Uh, you know what? My last Florida football to that too. 31 years. I'm, just, I'm 31 years old. I, I yeah, they we've only been in Florida once in my lifetime. I was three months old. I ain't never witnessed it myself. Uh next year, so I keep saying, I'm gonna have to go with old BVD there. Uh keep you know, I want to make a new uh, new uh saying for Kentucky Florida matchups. Just wait till next year. Uh we'll beat y'all next year. But uh Yeah. But Alabama's just gonna smoke y'all. I mean, I'm a, I'm going 63 to three, but you know, a lot of people said this week, "Oh, B, dude, well, what you what even makes you think they're gonna score?" And I'm like, you know, you're right. You just might be right. But uh, that brings me down to the LSU Ole Miss game. <laughs> LSU. I started believing in y'all. Actually, I stopped believing in y'all. When y'all lost Mississippi State, got blown out. Well, you know what? Maybe Mississippi State's that good. Well, then y'all went and lost to Troy. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, wow. Coach O's going to be one and done. Uh, old Cookie Monster there. Oh, 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 oh. In translation, that means we just didn't play good ball. You know, I mean, I can already see the pregame speech this week. <laughs> Something about, you know, he's going. they want to go out there and kick some rebel ass. Uh, but, uh, I mean, all it sounds like, <laughs> I want cookie. You know, <laughs> cookie? You know what I mean, that's about all you understand there. Uh... Man, well, LSU, your winning streak ends this week. Ole Miss beat y'all, 17-14. Uh, that game is at Ole Miss, too, so, yeah. And then you, that brings me to Auburn, Arkansas. Whoa. <laughs> uh, man, you think you can laugh at Tennessee, South Carolina. Man, who else could we laugh at usually? None other than uh, Missouri. Well, Arkansas, you're part of the four laughing stocks of the SEC this year. I don't know how that makes y'all feel, but uh, that's going to bring me on to my next one. Color, baby. Boom! And what? What's your favorite color, baby? And what? Oh, yeah. Blue and white. Old Kentucky time. Uh, man. You know, 
Stoops is talking. Grant is talking. They keep talking about how bad, you know, they're ready. They're, they're tired of these close games. But it's time to start putting some nails in the coffin. Putting some teams away. Well, let's do it. Let's go. Let's open up this playbook. Let's put Steven Johnson on the center. Let's run the ball up the middle. And have a couple play action passes in there. And let's go. We're five and one. Second in the East, which opened us up. That Florida loss, man, last week to Texas A&M. We owe Texas A&M a thank you card too, by the way. I mean, somehow, uh, you know, we may just got an easy Christmas present. Because uh, Florida's going to lose next week to Georgia. That's three losses. Uh, so, Kentucky fans, if you know any Texas A&M fans or LSU fans, go ahead and start thanking them now. But those games are in the books. Florida's got two losses in conference play. We hold on destiny. And uh, so... But that brings me here to Kentucky, Mississippi State. November 18th matchup, Uncle Lou. November 18th. Kentucky versus Georgia in Athens, Georgia. I just might have to make that trip down to come down and watch that game in person as we come down there. Second in the East. Winner takes all for going to the SEC Championship game. Let's see if y'all can fucking hang up. Hang with us. I, I, I'm expecting a brand new team after this bye week here. Old Stoops and then, like I said, Stoops and Graham been talking about it's time to start putting some teams away. Let's put some nails in the coffin. You know, let's go. So, bring me to Mississippi State, Kentucky. These cowbells ain't going to work this week. Oh, well, what are y'all? Man, y'all are the Tigers too, aren't y'all? No, you're the Bulldogs. Oh, Bulldogs. Where the hell do you get some cowbells going with the damn Bulldogs? You got Georgia fans. Those are Bulldogs. They ain't, they ain't got no cowbells. You're the only team about to have cowbells. Noisemaker. Artificial noisemaker at your stadium. Can't take them on the road. But you got to have them in the stadium. You, 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 yeah, I'm going to need to pack the house. Them cowbells ain't gonna work this week. Kentucky wins this game. I'm, I'm, it's gonna be a high scoring game. I'm going 45 20. Kentucky finally puts a team away. We're gonna blow out two teams in a row. We can blow out Mississippi State down there. And we're 10 and a half point underdogs, by the way, too, to the Bulldogs of Mississippi State here. Uh, but we're gonna blow out Bulldogs this week. Go. Take care of business against Bush Jones. Go ahead and put that final nail in his coffin. Get him out of here. And uh, blow them out too. We might, we might even make it three weeks in a row. We might go ahead and blow out Ole Miss out too. And then Uncle Lou. <laughs> Looking a little better. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the comments down here. I'm sure somebody's got you know something to say. Uh, thanks for watching again.